Hey, it's Longest Solo Ever, and today we're going to talk about how to get started modding Friday Night Funkin'. We're going to go over what exactly a mod is and the tools and skills you need to make one. This is the first of a whole series of videos I'm going to make on how to make a Friday Night Funkin' mod, so be sure you subscribe and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss a single one. So what is a Friday Night Funkin' mod? A mod is anything that changes part of the original game of Friday Night Funkin'. This could be anything from changing the hair color of one character to full-blown brand new games with original songs, characters, levels, everything. You can change basically every feature of the original game, uh, including character art and animations, background art, the songs in the game creating brand new original songs. You can replace the charts for existing songs to make them more fun or more difficult to play. You can add animated cutscenes in between or even in the middle of songs. You can add mod charts that change the gameplay in the middle of the song. And you can even customize the user interface with brand new menus and even change stuff like the arrows on screen. Now let's talk about the tools you'll need to mod Friday Night Funkin'. At the easiest end of things is charts. Friday Night Funkin has a built-in chart editor that you can edit in-game and then save and play your brand new charts. Now, artwork. For backgrounds, you can use basically any drawing program you like, uh, from Photoshop, Paint.net, GIMP, Procreate, Krita. There's a ton of great options out there. For character art and animations, things get a little more specific. Friday Night Funkin uses a very specific sprite sheet format, and only a handful of programs can actually generate the XML files you need to use this format. The one used by the original game creators, as well as the vast majority of the modding community, is Adobe Animate, formerly known as Flash. You can get by without it, and there's a few workarounds, but it's frankly really hard, and it's best to try to just get Animate if you can. For songs, you can use any music production software you like. I personally prefer Ableton Live, although FL Studio is very popular in the Friday Night Funkin' community as well. For what it's worth, the original Friday Night Funkin' composer Kawhi Sprite uses Ableton Live. For editing the code of the game, you can use any text editor you want, from Notepad to something more complicated like Visual Studio. I personally prefer one called Brackets. It's a free, fantastic code editor that's just nice and really streamlined. For compiling your code, that is taking all the pieces together and putting them into a final file that you can share with others on Game Banana or on Discord or on Google Drive, you'll need to use something called PowerShell, which is a command line tool built right into your computer. And finally, this isn't necessary, but I really strongly recommend it, GitHub for code management. Think of GitHub like a giant permanent undo button that keeps track of every single change you've made to your project over the course of its lifetime. So if three weeks down the line you realize, oh my God, there's this bug in the code that's been there since three weeks ago, but it was perfect before then, I need to see what changes I made to the code. GitHub has it right there. It'll show you the exact changes you made and you can flip back and forth to figure out how to fix it. It also just acts as an awesome backup service in case you lose your files. So those are all the tools you need to start modding Friday Night Funkin. Next, it's time to learn how to use these skills and how to put them all together into a mod. Be sure to watch my next video on installing Psych Engine, GitHub, and compiling your first Friday Night Funkin mod. And if you like this video, of course, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and happy modding.